Racing towards a greener future, electric vehicles are performing better by the day and convincing buyers around the world. Recently, the Axiona completed the Paris Dakar, one of the most difficult races out there. It went 9,000 kilometers without a drop of gas. Instead, a series of trucks carrying biodiesel generators provided electricity. The move towards 100% electric transportation seems unstoppable. Tesla, the U.S. company headed by innovator Elon Musk, is investing billions in its future gigafactory located in Nevada. It expects to produce 500,000 vehicles a year by 2020. That same year, China wants to see 5 million electric cars on its roads. As it is, more are sold there than anywhere else in the world. Now, China's Baidu is hoping to flood the market with the Cherry EQ, priced at the equivalent of $9,000 after tax breaks. It sounds like the ideal car. It produces no emissions, no exhaust, and it could be the perfect solution for overpolluted cities. So why aren't they everywhere already? First, because electric cars are expensive. Here in France, the most popular electric car, the Zoe by Renault, costs 10,000 more euros than a thermal or internal combustion vehicle of the same size. That's a real barrier for many. Second, electric cars do have an environmental impact. Their batteries need lithium, and to extract it, you need a lot of water in the dry climates where it's found. Lithium is rare and exists mainly in Australia, Argentina, Chile, and Bolivia. Si de acá poco tiempo van a tener la industria más grande de litio en Bolivia, Bolivia también decidirá el precio del litio, de batería, de caro de litio para todo el mundo. Once the metals are extracted, the car has to be assembled. Overall, the steps to build an electric vehicle create twice as much pollution as they do for an internal combustion car. That's according to researchers at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology. Even before hitting the road, an electric car, therefore, already has baggage. It'll have to drive for 30 to 50,000 kilometers before its carbon footprint equals a new thermal car. And what about the electricity that powers the electric vehicle? Where does it come from? From coal, nuclear plants, or renewable energies? That can add or reduce a vehicle's carbon footprint. From the beginning of production to the end of a vehicle's life cycle, gas or diesel cars emit an average of 140 to 210 grams of CO2 per kilometer. For electric cars here in France, where nuclear energy produces 75% of electricity, that number falls to 15 to 30 grams of CO2 per kilometer. But in countries where coal is a major component of electricity production, it goes back up to between 120 and 140 grams of CO2. Even at its most polluting, therefore, electric cars put out less greenhouse gases than thermal vehicles. But there's one last problem. Fine particles. We're told that electric vehicles don't emit any, but that's not true. Sure, they don't come out of the exhaust pipe, but they're a byproduct of the car's mechanics. And those lithium batteries, what happens to them at the end of their life cycle? Recycling them is still far too difficult and expensive. In the future, the main challenge will be to supply renewable energy to electric vehicles, as well as lighten the environmental impact of production. We'll see if that's possible with our guest and expert in electromobility and energy economics. It's not possible to have a revolution because changing all the cars from what they are to electric cars, uh, we are speaking about uh, more than 35 million cars in France and one billion cars around the planet. If you want to change it from one day to another, the cost of the change will be so high that it will even prevent the change. If we take the actual data in France, 85% uh, of the charging stations are private and uh, only 15% are uh, public. The responsibility is shared because we will need so many infrastructures, so many solutions that uh, solutions will probably come from different spaces. 
People want to sell cars, but what we want to buy is not car, it's mobility. And probably in the future, the car manufacturers will sell mobility solutions and they will ask you what are the type of mobility you want. A small for going to work, individual, collective, shared. So you will define what you want and according to what you want, you will book the mobility option that you prefer in the given setup of options. In the end, electric vehicles bear a heavier environmental cost during production, but that cost reduces significantly over time to the point where they really do have a lighter carbon footprint than internal combustion cars.